Welcome to episode four of Parenting Without Panic. I'm Jessica, and today we're talking about managing the stress of parenting. I think it's safe to say that we all wanna have peaceful environment in our homes, but so many times stress takes over and robs us of that peace. Every day we're given the opportunity to be intentional to choose less stress, and today we're going to talk about a few steps that we can take to make that choice. First, I get to choose less stress when I choose what takes priority in my life. Now, I know that sounds too simple, but I've seen so many people lose control of their life and spin out into survival mode simply because they're prioritizing the wrong things. I myself have been guilty of this more times than I would like to admit. I set a goal and I say one thing is important, but then my actions show something completely different and I give my time to other things. So here's a choice that I have personally made. Early in our marriage, my husband and I made the decision to closely guard our time and the commitments that we take for ourselves and our family. There's so much pressure in our culture today to fill our schedules with enriching extracurricular activities like dance, band, clubs, sports, and hobbies. There's so many amazing programs and opportunities available for everyone at every age and interest. And while all those things can be so fun and beneficial, it's also so easy to busy oneself from sunup to sundown and schedule every minute of the day, leaving no time for rest and quality time with family. So in our family, we've made the choice not to overcommit ourselves. We didn't want to follow the pattern of so many families that we'd seen, running from one activity to the next, eating meals on the go, and always running in different directions. We chose to prioritize family time and dinner around the table together. And we've been able to avoid a lot of stress for ourselves and our kids because we made that choice. Now another thing I've done that has helped me reduce stress is develop a consistent routine. I found that I can prevent a lot of stress just by setting up a system and sticking to it. I'm sure we've all experienced a mix of peaceful mornings as well as chaotic ones. And I know for me, there are steps that I can take to ensure the morning goes smoothly. If I have all of the homework signed and thought through the plans for the meals that day and had my kids prep their clothing and book bags the night before, we generally have a smooth and peaceful morning. Everyone has what they need and we're ready to walk out the door with time to spare without me running around like a crazy person and yelling at everybody. On the flip side, if I go to bed without thinking through the plan for that day, or if I oversleep, the morning will quickly become stressful, not just for me, but for my entire family. I have the power to make some choices to contribute to peace in my home. So even when I'm tired, I'm intentional to be consistent with the routine in place because I know in the end, it reduces stress and brings peace. Now I also know that no amount of planning on my part will completely eliminate my stress as a parent because let's face it, life happens. It's full of unexpected interruptions and things happen that will throw everything out of whack and there my beautiful plan goes right out the window. And then there's kids. Kids will be kids. They're still growing and learning. They're not good at controlling their emotions. Siblings fight and pick at each other. They can turn the house upside down in two seconds flat and they know how to push your buttons. All of your buttons. They have the ability like no one else to do that. And so what do you do when life completely stresses you out? Make a strategy to manage your stress and implement it before you lose it. This is what that looks like for me. I know when I'm getting stressed, I can feel it. For a long time, I would just try to fight through it. I would just keep on going and continue to operate in that stressed out frame of mind. Now, while that might work temporarily, it doesn't work forever. Our brains don't function well under stress and our decision-making ability is severely impaired. Inevitably, I would end up pushing myself so hard that I would lose it. And so instead of staying in that stressed out mindset, I've started to take a pause and reset. I stop, step away just for a minute. Sometimes I lock myself in my room or step outside in my backyard by myself and I take a minute to breathe and calm my mind and I pray and ask God for his help in that moment. I can't even begin to tell you how helpful this has been for me. When I take a step back, and calm and clear my mind, I'm much more able to respond to the situation and handle it with grace rather than have an emotional reaction that I later regret. Another thing I found to be very helpful is to have a consistent quiet time, a time for me to take a mental break from all of the thinking and problem solving, a time to rest and reflect and pray, a time for me to hear from God and get fresh perspective from Him. I don't have anything good within myself to give my family. So when I run on empty, I'm not only hurting myself, but my husband and my children as well. When I make time to let God fill me up each day, not only do I have what I need for the day, but I'm able to share that with my husband and children and they reap the benefits as well. Thank you so much for joining me today for Parenting Without Panic. I hope that these thoughts and ideas will help you be intentional to choose less stress and find more peace in the day to day. Be sure to join me next week as we look at how to help our kids deal with stress and anxiety. And don't forget that you can join a live conversation with me on Zoom the second and fourth Monday of each month. 
Just click the registration link in the description below and I will get you all of the info that you need to log into the next call. And until then, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment or a question below and you may even get a shout out in a future episode. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss our next show. We'll see you next time.